guys, you know what week it is. It's Silverstone week. We are at, of course, the home of the British Grand Prix. And as we record this, it is the week of the British Grand Prix in real life as well. So, yes, F1 is here in iRacing and I am going to farm this as much as I can this week because for anyone who's new to this channel and you haven't seen me at Silverstone before, it is my favourite track in the world. And yes, it might be because I'm British, British bias, guys. But for me, it just has such great flow to it, the high speed nature of it. I am a bit of a speed freak, guys, hence why I love the F1 car and LMDHs, etc. But taking any high speed downforce car at Silverstone, there's no better experience in sim racing. I can't say full racing because I've never actually raced at Silverstone in real life, but I have been to the circuit and it's great to watch some of the fastest cars in the world go around this circuit as well and well as you can see that is me on your left hand side i am second position wedged in between two pretty much 6k i rating drivers so we can see what we can do here of course i am aiming for a good start to the week also just generally a good start because my starts have been shocking of uh, recent so i'm hoping just not to lose positions and hopefully yes we can take it to these two exceptional drivers and uh yeah see what the race has in store for us so let's head into it remember to hit the like and subscribe button turn those notifications on and enjoy Laps. P2. all right here we go get ready green 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 Left side, clear left. I made a good start for once. Get in there. Right. He's going to go for a move. Don't think he's close enough just yet. Obviously no DRS for the first couple of laps. So Leopold and Anthony are both quick. Obviously their high rating suggests that. There won't be 6k if they weren't. One more lap. This is Try and break the toe if we can. Then things are going to get interesting. Like we're pulling away from Anthony. But Leopold's staying with. Right. Now's where things get interesting. There. The stewards have warned us for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. DRS will now be activated. You're leading. The guy behind has just done a bumper 
31.3. Ah, Scott, too slow. I was too shallow. DRS is activated, he hasn't got enough to get by me here. It's going to be important here. Let's see how wide you can make this thing. It's fine, it's not close enough. Be like this for most of the race, that though. Was, uh, That's better. Wiggly on the throttle. It's closing. The track temps are increasing. It's now 26 Celsius. Cover the inside here. I think he's got enough. To make a move, at least show the nose. Track limits. The longer he stays in my dirty air, the better as well for his tyres, well, for my tyres compared to his. Trying to, Jim. I'm trying to. I think he's got enough for me, though. With the arrest at the moment, to make me think about it. That's for sure. And a couple of attempts there through Brooklyn's and Nuffield. Every. A little bit of time counts. So, I think 0 0.6 is okay, DRS, he says. Just about. <laughs> Anything? Uh, that wasn't a good last corner. That wasn't good. That was a uh, 132.5. Right, he's on me now. Now we definitely got to defend. Make him go around the outside. On your right. Oh, 
Hold your line. Is that still there? Clear right. Left in the room. Close racing. Fair and respectful. Love to see it. This is allowing Anthony to close in though. Keep an eye on him. Ah, you bastard. Track limits, watch those lines. On your right. Clear right. It's never making that corner. You need to slow down to get back to time. Never making it. Should be able to lose it through here. Or not. There we go. Damn it. It crept up again, didn't it? Went up another temp. Now we're under attack from Anthony. And the problem is we've got no DRS. There's no way to defend this. Car left. So I have to accept my fate and let the tyres maybe cool down a bit positions. after the wobbles we just had. One little mistake cost me two positions. Rears are starting to squirrel a little bit. That's half distance. There. Fuel levels are fine. Oh, he nailed that exit there, Leopold. Nailed it. Understeer through there, man. Front left, really not liking it. Let's take a batter in at Silverstone. Time to get defensive, mate. That's better. So squirrely through there, man. That lap was at 133.3. That's the hardest corner on the track. By far. Keep it tight. Thing just wants to drift out wide, though.
track limits. Oh, I really thought that was going to be a slowdown there. Turned in a touch too early. Cut the track. Keep it nice and tidy. You'll need to give back the time gained. A bit wide here. Oh, as if that's gaining time. Turn, please. Ah, oh, it looks like this is more about trying to hold on to second position than it is catching Leopold. Leopold's just got the pace on us. Or oh, we're very similar in pace, it makes it difficult to catch up. Once you lose the DRS. Just cut the track. I'll take that off track. Seems like Anthony had to lift a little bit. 0 0.8 behind. Don't be another off track, you bastard. Oh my god. We just had a warning for cutting the track. Again? I thought I rejoined early enough, man. You need to slow down a bit if you don't want a penalty. Obviously not got the grip. Just defend it, and he's definitely going to be able to go for it. Or at least force me to make a move. All he has to do is stay tight. Get the DRS. Oh, those curves are loud, aren't they? Gone out of track limits. Keep it between the lines. Yeah. He's got an opportunity here. He might easily sweep round me. Car left. Clear yeah. left. Keep pushing. We might get him back. I think my front left is dead, you know. Doesn't like it. I think I've killed it, man. P3, two laps left. We're on for a podium here. Come on. Just drop the right rear. Front end not complying. And well, now we've got Thibaut on us, who smells blood with one lap remaining. The gap in front has increased to 4.6 seconds. Uh, my fault, really. No one else to blame but myself. Too many slowdowns. Threw away the positions. The gap behind is now 1.2. Just got to keep Thibaut out of this DRS on the last lap.
so many short shifts required at the end of the race there. Bring it on home. Let's make sure the car doesn't go round on you. Last lap, guys. Here we go. Last couple of corners. And across the line, guys. P3. Nothing to scoff at there, but quite clearly lessons to be learned for the first race of the week at Silverstone, my favourite circuit in the world. Positives, I have the pace to fight 6k I rating drivers here, but when it comes to it, obviously the difference is the mistakes and just looking after those tyres a little bit more. Um, I'm going to take it round to the end of this lap, bring it back into the pits and we'll see how much we actually had left in those tyres. So at the end of the race there, we had 58 on our front left in the middle. That's where it was most degraded. Obviously, as I was saying, the front left really takes a battering round here with most of the corners at Silverstone being fast right-handers and that load being put onto the left-hand side of the car. Have seen it, of course, in hotter temperatures get as low as, well, even single figures um, around here but so so noticeable just obviously with the heat deg and that and that obviously tire degradation as well to go with it um, you just notice obviously the lack of grip um, as you saw me running wide a couple of times um, not able to get on the throttle as early um, as we are early on in the race when we have a lot of grip so just need to rein it in a touch and just look after those tires a little bit earlier in the first stages of the race even in the fixed um, races, which are 25% distance of a full race. But yep, the, uh, 65 I rating gain, guys. It is nothing to be scoffed at. Um, getting a podium and the only guys to beat you are basically 6K drivers. So yeah, happily take that as my first result of the week. Um, let's uh, hop and see if there are any incidents. I think it was uh, hopefully a relatively clean race, where it was from my perspective, kind of, wasn't it? But yeah, let's go have a look. Right, guys, let's have a look at the incidents then. And someone's just having to take avoiding action there. Ooh, turned in a little bit too sharply. Heard the contact. Very fortunate to get away with it. Let me guess, on the throttle too early. Ooh, he just, just missed him there. So easy to do at that last corner. It's really in between gears. Have to be easy on the throttle. Short shift. Oh no, he's already gone wide. I, yeah. Could see that coming from a mile away. Straightened up the car. Get on the throttle. And you think you you think you can stamp your foot down because the car's pointing straight. Yeah, can't do that in his F1 cars. Coming into club again. And a little bit deep. Oh, that was oh, oh, oh! I was this close to saying great save and giving him a round of applause, and yeah, that's the problem when you do that. The tires stay obviously very hot, and you have to be very easy on the throttle. 
This is another spinner. Yeah, there it is. I mean, I hold your brakes. Maybe he knows there's no one around him and he can get away with it. But my advice would be just to hold your brakes next time. And be easier on throttle so you don't spin anyway. <laughs> this is another spinner. No. Fair play. Don't know why that was even shown. So lastly, let's have a look at our spin. Round off these incidents. Just obviously struggling with tyres at this moment in time. You can see just tyre marks that I'm leaving. Yeah, it's just so easily done when the front end doesn't want to turn in. Of course, I'm trying to stay within Anthony's um, toe and DRS as well. And even though we got it there, um, yeah. Just, just fortunate that we didn't spin round a lot because Tibo was right there. Good thing we had that gap, and but we didn't go into a full spin. Otherwise, we would have lost, lost that podium position for sure. But a good race nonetheless, guys. As I said, there's no shame finishing um, only behind guys who are 6K I rating drivers while I'm down at a lowly 2.5K. Um, so, yes, the aim is to get it up this week because Silverstone is a beloved track of mine. And I'll be back here plenty of times this week. So remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.